All right, welcome back to SciTech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. In this video, I want to show you how to transfer infill designs from one machine to another. So in this instance, I'm going to create a quick infill design with this excavator. It's Earthworks, and then we're going to send it over to another machine that can go ahead and work on the exact same design so that they're, they're able to help out clean it up a specific thing. So what you'll do is go into your shovel with the gear and go to job setup and we're gonna change in between modes here. We're gonna to go to infill, and we're gonna leave it on measure data, and we're gonna hit the black box for design to create a new one. So I'm gonna create one, and I'm gonna do an alignment and section because I'm gonna make a little down this road and try to build up this, uh, this little pile to the right side of me a little bit. So alignment and section. I've got other videos on how to do uh, these a little bit more in depth, so we'll kind of brush through this. I'm gonna use the focus point of the machine so right off the bat, I'm going to use the right side of my bucket. I'm going to reach out and climb up here just a little bit, and I'm going to start up on this, and I'm going to make a point right down the uh, edge of this pond of my right side here, this hill. So I'm going to hit the blue button. I'm going to record a couple more to get the definition of what's going on as it falls here. Go ahead and just keep making my alignment. Record. I'm going to keep the point on my right side here. Now the beauty of doing with this with an excavator is at this point right here, I can go ahead and just come all the way into my tracks. It's always just going right off the right side or left side of your bucket. It doesn't matter if I'm facing a specific way. So now as I come back here and I finish out, down here at the block, I do want to switch this point over to the left side and I'll finish out. So now that I've recorded that alignment, I'll go ahead and spin back around, keep the sun off me. So at this point, I'm done with step one. We're going to go to next. And I'm going to create my cross section to the side of that. So I'm going to go on screen. Now where my alignment is when you look out there was right at the very bottom of that little, uh, little step there that's up in the dirt. I want to make some design off to the left side of me, but the way that you have to build it here is you have to make everything to the right side right off the bat on this, and then you can move it over. What I mean by that is so I'm going to start a point with this blue button, and I'm going to come over about 25 feet, and I'm going to leave it flat on my percentage there. So I create a long flat spot till my first point. At this first point, now I'm going to create another one with this plus button, but I'm gonna go up about, um, we're gonna go four feet up at a uh, 35%. Just kind of build a little bit of a slope up. And then from there, I'm simply just gonna create another point and just go out another, uh, we'll go 20 feet further than that at a minus 2%, just to kind of create that step right there. The reason I did that is all of this flat area that you can see right here before, at my 40 feet, I'm going to end up moving over from what you see my alignment was made. The only step I'm going to have in here is just that one where I jumped right there. So we'll go ahead and hit next. Once again, I've got other videos that does this a little bit more in depth. But you, what you want to see here is now I can go ahead and hit this little arrow button to arrow over until I'm actually at where I want to be on that design. So if I hit 3D, let me zoom in on it and make more sense to you. So you can see where that step is, where it jumps up. I actually moved my alignment over by hitting this button here until I got to the very bottom of that. So it creates a flat spot off to my left side and I don't have blank, blank nothing there. So I can go ahead and on A, where I started, if I need to give it just a little bit more, maybe we'll just give it like two more feet. Same thing on B, which is where I end, we'll give it five more feet. And then we will call this the uh, site tech 323 because that's the machine I'm in uh, step just so we know what the name of it is so we'll go ahead and hit accept and we'll hit apply so I've created a really quick basic infill design right here site type 323 step we'll hit a select it now shows up as a design on here I don't have to have the line work from the job site that's currently running on 
If I want, I can leave that on. Maybe I'll just show you. Leave that as local three finish grade. We'll hit apply. Now that I come back, you can see on my cross section view, you can see the toe of the slope and you can see in 3D what it's done right here. So I can go ahead and set down on the ground, see how close the elevation is. Boom, we're pretty close there. You can come over to the toe of that slope and you, you can run up to the top and we can go ahead and design that or build that. So now what I can do is export that to a different machine if I wanted it to help me grade and we're on the exact same page. So what you do if you already have a thumb drive in is go ahead and hit your uh, shovel with the gear here, go to job setup, and you can file transfer at the bottom right there. So you can transfer that file by exporting it from the machine here to the USB. It's gonna write it in my project library folder, so all I have to do is have it on thumb drive here and then hit select. What I'll do now is under projects, I'm gonna go down until I hit this local three Union Hall and I've got infield data. So I want to do infield data and I want to export that out. Okay, once those files are exported, go ahead and hit OK. We can pull out the thumb drive. Once you've brought that design in from the 323, the infield design that we built here, you can go into your shovel with the gear, go to job setup, and if you go under the mode of infield inside this machine, you can see under the designs that there is a SiteTech 323 step and it says dot .320E so we know that that actually was built in that machine and transferred over. Alignment and section, it says it. Go ahead and select it. And you don't have to have the other line work on if you don't want to for your other design that's here so we'll turn that off. Go ahead and hit accept. And now that design that was built in that machine is right here so we can move it around. You can see it's got that same alignment down through the middle right there. And we are sitting inside of it right here. So now we can go ahead and go check it out and maybe start cutting a little bit of it. Well, at least you can see that the models can be transferred from machine to machine. You can go put them in any other Earthworks machines on the job site. Um, but thank you for watching this video from SciTech Intermountain.